We'll do that after the break. We got Voss and uh, Bonnie outside we the studio Richard as well. We have Richard and Bonnie. Richard and Bonnie. Richard and Bonnie. Richard and Bonnie. Or is it Bonnie and Richard? Ooh. Ooh. Bonnie and Voss. Bonnie and Richard. I haven't seen them in a while. The lovely I miss my friends. Do you think they're still happy? No. I don't think so either. Not at all. She's had enough of him already. (laughs) Why are they staying together? Career or something? Well, she doesn't need him. Yeah, we know that. (laughs) Rich is like... Rich is ready to stumble in here. Nothing. Nothing. No, we nothing. We were saying it's nice to see the lovely couple back on the show. We love you. I, I, she hasn't been on in a while. She's been bugging. She's been bugging me to get on. She goes, you know, let's fucking love over Yeah. You know. She's and more than welcome. When we were in Chicago, we turned Man Cow down, so, we, you know, she wants to do radio. Ah. You know. She's to, always welcome. Yeah. Yeah. She's Did definitely turn down Man welcome. Cow? Cool. Yeah. That's how I roll. I love you. That's how I roll. You know. All right. Well, are you gonna have a little more energy when we officially introduce you? No. no, no, no. (laughs) Why would I do that? You still happy being married? You think we're in commercial? Happy being married? Jesus, fuck you. Happy. I'm happy here. I'm happy if we're in Cleveland this week. I'm happy everywhere I'm with her. Oh, cool. What (laughs) Cleveland gig you doing? No, no, not now. When you get back. (laughs) (laughs) And we want to hear with a little energy. That's all. Yeah. We don't ask for much from you guys. Just a little energy to help us along. Okay. (laughs) All right. Piss it, Jim. (laughs) (laughs) All right. It is a natural impulse to grab and squeeze, squeeze the breasts. Squeeze the breasts. No shit. Real, real soft. Almost like pudding. Almost like pudding. Yes, a hard piece of ass. <laughs> Quite a handful. Yeah. The nipples are so sensitive yeah. that a mere tweak between finger and thumb will give a perfectly good result. The Obi and Anthony Show. In case you didn't know. This is the Opie and Anthony program. Rich Voss in studio with his lovely wife, Bonnie McFarland. Playing Cleveland this weekend? Yeah, the Cleveland Improv. We're going to do um, our acts together this time. It's really oh. weird stuff. Oh. That's what people, people like will, uh, you know, email us from MySpace. So do you guys go on stage together? Yeah, all of a sudden we're fucking still in a mirror, right? Uh, I can't even get her to bang me. I'm going to get her to do, you know, comedy with me. It's just unbelievable. Is the banging way down already? Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> That's not true. Huh? Well, with us it is. <laughs> Each other. I still bang, but sometimes you're not in the room. She's so fucking dizzy. We were in the hotel the other night. <laughs> She's so what? Fucking dizzy. What? What do you think I said? It's dizzy. Yeah, yeah dizzy. I have an inner ear infection, and I, I literally am dizzy. <laughs> oh, all right. We're in the That's r- fine. <laughs> we that was a fucking a 40s expression. <laughs> uh, dude, dude, what a dizzy what a dang. dang. <laughs> you know what else he always says? Dizzy always broad. I hip to the Diet Coke, didn't I? <laughs> like, he thinks he hip me to everything. <laughs> hip you to <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Stop taking your Lenny Bruce character so seriously. Listen to me. Yeah. We're fucking in a busy broad. I hipped her to. <laughs> I took her. I mean, we're in the hotel the other night. Go on, Daddy. So the smoke alarm, <laughs> the smoke alarm, oh the smoke alarm's going off. She goes, "Can you press the, you know, press the button?" So I go up there to press cigarette. the button. She goes, "Your cigarette is making a smoke alarm go off." And next to her on her, uh, uh, next to her on the bed, the little dresser. There's a fucking towel on fire from her candle. <laughs> she's sitting there reading, yeah, and there's like, a fucking towel on fire. And she's going, "You got to put your cigarette out." No, but like it was. Where were you, five. bedrock? <laughs> <laughs> fucking lights. I Why don't you use a light? But you do because have to. Because I, I light a smelly candle because of the cigarette smoke. Yeah, stop smoking. Why don't and, you yeah. stop? Oh my Seriously. god! Rich. Somehow get him. I don't. We're know not going to your funeral if you die of lung Why cancer. Why don't you stop? Well, I didn't think you would. You didn't go to the wedding. Why would you go to the <laughs> funeral? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, imagine that. Oh, when it, oh, it can't make it that night. Well, oh, Rich. Oh, finally, Patrice and oh, Billy Burr bring a present. Uh, 
He smashed us. <laughs> you're, you're, you're taking that hard stuff. No, no, I'm not. We I all explained go. ourselves on our past show. <laughs> I let it go. <laughs> so, dude, why don't you take this moment? I yeah, am. I, I, I'm going to go to a hypnotist. I, got, I just got the link for it. I just got the oh, link for a hypnotist. No, not, what, not the what hypnotist. Kind of dog shit answer is that? Not a, not a hypnotist. A uh, fucking laser. You can get laser surgery. That's a laser. Really wait, big wait, difference wait, 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 wait. What? Laser. Yeah. To quit smoking. Yeah, yeah. What do they do? They if unless they your weld off? your mouth shut. <laughs> no, what I don't know. What the fuck do What do they do with a laser? Laser. I, I think they actually laser together. a part of your brain, don't they? No, I they can't fuck my brain up anymore. They cannot but, laser a yeah, part of your brain. Yeah, just like Nicholson at the end Stop of Cuckoo's it. Nest. It's <laughs> in Staten Island. Some lady I met said she went and got lasers. There is no surgery. There is no. I got the link. Let me tell you something. I, I, we will look at the link. Give it to mm -hmm. Iraq. He will punch it up. I will guarantee you there is no way they touch your brain with a laser to make you stop smoking. They do something, maybe googly yeah. your eyes or something. Or it, 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 it sounds like a scam to Rich me, Rich. is trying no. to find a way to quit smoking that's not going to hurt. With zero pain. Yeah. Stop it. Just do the – Esty took me down for the patch – I, I love to fucking smoke. You smoke more than I did, but I do. I smoked for 17 years. I mean, I yeah. was Jimmy liked to smoke. Yeah. 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 Anthony, smoke. one day I was gonna quit. I said I'm gonna finish this pack, and Anthony was just fucking put the cigarettes down. I said I'm having one more. I had one more. It was a Friday. I went down to the cellar. Esty marched me over. Got me oh, the really? patch. Just March? We was March. he leading you with an SS patch <laughs> on his fucking shoulder? <laughs> Let's fucking ate off. Yes. We marched. Yeah. He cleans out the apartment complex. The patch had a swastika on it. <laughs> yes. It was a lovely red patch on my... Why are, you, why are you still going for bargains? Why don't you just go to, like, a reputable guy and get it done? He, you know, he wants to do it without pain. Rich wants to quit without the fucking emotions. You're going to cry a lot. I've been crying for five years since I quit. It's yeah, all I, I do. I don't understand. That the guy is an addict. You have overcome booze and yeah. drugs, and, and so you know that Cop the only off. way to aside. really stop. There was no patch for crack. There's no, no. fucking laser for booze. It's I you gotta just lies. stop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was just I think that's all bullshit. I almost yeah. stole Rich's joke in front of him, or Bonnie's joke in front of Rich. <laughs> that it's all bullshit. No, who once said that? Um, Rich only did drugs as an excuse for blowing guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that you? Or okay. I just thought no, of that and I realized no, that's I not said you. I quit just for the applause break on stage. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's, that's not what I was quoting. <laughs> no, but that's what, that was another joke I threw in there. Oh, cool. But see, you do what good. I just say that perfect. you always do. What? You try to steal the laughter from whoever got the last laugh. Yes. Yes, he does. You're saying what Rich does is Rich was piggybacking that moment yes. and trying yeah. to yeah. be the last one no, to speak called, so it's it looked called, like his moment. It's, it's called tagging. It's called tagging. You didn't tag it. You, you didn't, didn't tag it. it. That's not a tag. That's a whole new little story that you brought yeah. up. Yep. Oh, look at This is comfortable all of a sudden <laughs> everywhere she goes now. She's on stage now. This is a fucking broad. I was reading a piece of paper Shut in up. L.A. off a stool. Now she's on stage with her foot in the front <laughs> table, fucking leaning into the mic and working the crowd. Okay. And every now and then one of my fucking lines comes in and goes, hey, you know, you got so many of them. But... <laughs> <laughs> She's getting too confident, and that's the problem. I'm gonna have to bring you to the stress factory again to no. fucking humble you. I don't, I don't hear the same love as I used to. Wow! <laughs> Remember when they first hooked up? It was yeah. just about love. And when we first hooked up, it was kind of a was... drop off here, uh, yeah. just a bit. Wow! Well, then Golly over here, yeah. he's getting a little, uh, I also getting a little scared of his position. I think. Huh? <laughs> I also hear a lot of avoidance about the smoking question. Yeah. Okay, yes. Doctor Phil. That's right. Uh, Dana Reeves just died. Absolutely. She didn't smoke. <laughs> she didn't smoke. She had the secondhand smoke, they're saying, or something. The secondhand smoke From or what? something? From what? Was his yeah. wheelchair a locomotive? <laughs> the fuck is the guy who was smoking near her? He had little kids and an invalid. From being a, uh, she was like one of those uh, torch singers. Oh, so Back she in was day. in a lot of clubs. That's what they were saying. With the smoke. I had a little info on that. Right, very good. I'm glad you did. Stupid, but uh, she was a singer in the lounges back, right. in, back in her day. And they're saying maybe it was the secondhand smoke from way back when. Mm. I don't think that. I think that whole Why secondhand don't smoke you just is bullshit. Quit. What are you st so scared of? Uh, because you have fucking kids. You want to see graduate college. Why don't you stop? My kids aren't going to college. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Then keep smoking. <laughs> you have kids that you're gonna have to drop off at the bottom bing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, were you? In <laughs> it's a regal beagle. <laughs> were you in Sacramento? Yes. Last week. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Richard. Get an update. A yeah. review. 
Yeah, I was just doing sack over the weekend on Sunday. Oh, Great you were, show. You were there on Sunday? Yeah. I couldn't believe you smoked on stage. That was awesome. Was that? Oh, yeah, because you're not allowed to smoke in a club. You yeah, rebel. You're not allowed to smoke within like 10 feet of a building in Sacramento. Yeah. That was awesome. Bonnie killed, too. Yeah, yeah, we did. I did, did it was a good like, show, huh, Richard? <laughs> oh, real good. Yeah, right on. Cool. Yeah, it was great. He tore a couple audience members up. Yeah. It was awesome. I, I mean, Richard, uh, Richard, Rich uh, Vasya <coughs> gets a bad rep sometimes. We like to kill him on the show, but it takes a lot of heat on the show, but oh. very funny uh, when you see him live on the stage. Thank you. Yeah. Now, the bottom right. line is, Voss, you've been lying about quitting for Listen, years. Listen, we're talking Shut about my mouth. fucking stage performance, and all of a sudden you got to... The guy brought up smoking on stage is <laughs> what happened. Said he was, uh, yeah, so Richie killed, and he was smoking. You'll be talking, you've been quit. I'm going to quit on my birthday. I'm going to quit on my anniversary. I'm going to quit yeah. this, and every we, one of them passes. I'm sure we got tapes from NEW of him saying he's going to quit soon. Yeah, we want to years ago quit. now, Rich. You can't fly with smoking in the airport. It's, it's awful. I smoke at the airports in the bathroom. Exactly. Oh, my God. Why don't you stop? You do? What are you so scared of? Just stop. I'm not scared. Well, yes, I am are. scared, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> What else do I have? What do you I do mean, on I, the flights? You, you're not um, going to lose a piece. I you do nicotine gum. New York to L.A., what do you, what do, you do? Well, I he complains nicotine a gum. lot, number one. I, nicotine I, gum. And I sleep a lot. You're not going to, you're afraid, wow. Richard, you're afraid, A, of being uncomfortable, and B, like you're going to lose a piece of who you are. You're okay, not going to lose a part of yourself. Okay, here's, here's, the, here's the deal. I'll make a deal with you. Uh, we'll pick a date, and I quit smoking, and you and you quit uh, deviant sexual behaviors. Um, I've already quit smoking. And when, whoa, 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 I quit gambling. Hold on. When deviant sexual behaviors put a tumor on my jaw, I'll quit doing them. Yeah, right? you know, what, what, what about a fucking lesion on your face? Not my problem. I'll just pass it along. <laughs> no, see how easy it is? What are you so scared of? I've already quit smoking. But I've, I've already, already quit gambling. I've I'm quit talking drugs. about an immediate health risk that's going to fucking kill you, dude. Some of Jeremy's girls have looked like tumors on his jaw. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying, dude, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being holier than now. I'm not saying quit addictive behavior because it's naughty. I'm yeah. saying smoking is an immediate awful health risk. I'm not making a moral judgment. I'm saying it's a fucking an horrible risk, and I've quit, and I know how awful it is. And I'm not being self-righteous. At least you get the scary. AIDS. You know, you got 10, 10 good years. Absolutely. Of, you, know. you can fucking always just pretend you got it from a needle or, you know, blood <laughs> right. transfusion. I and, get sick once. And or you will look thin anybody. at some point. Yeah. And you could eat all you want, right, because you're going to lose the weight eventually. And I haven't. I, and, my, and my sexual addiction, I'm not uh, running into a bathroom in the airport anymore. And, and <laughs> <laughs> that's because they clogged up all the holes in the dividers. It what, does what, look, though, Jim, like you, you purposely the... try to find women who may have something wrong with them. I, I, I'm not saying. Look, I, I, I'm not saying that an uncle 15 years ago doesn't help my cause because it does. The worse your family, the better it is for me. But 15 years ago, you knew better. Well, yeah, maybe more than 15. <laughs> like, not the girls I'm dating. <laughs> your uncle touched you when you were 21, 22? No, one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, 15 years ago. Your uncle didn't touch you. There's nobody that desperate in your family. <laughs> oh. Why don't you quit smoking? I'm good. Here's, here's the game plan. Oh, boy. All right? All right. Okay, I'll make a deal There's with a plan now. That's good. Uh... June thirtieth on my birthday. Oh, stop! Mm -hmm. I will. The first one of the uh, first things you said to me when we started dating was that you were gonna quit smoking June thirtieth on your birthday. Yeah. And June thirtieth came went without incident. You didn't even bring it up. <laughs> like, I, I was already bagging you, so what the fuck? I already closed the deal. I had to come up with a new lie. <laughs> and his uh, his sober date. He was gonna quit on a sober date. I've heard that one. Uh, I've heard I'm going to quit after the holidays, after the stress. There's never a good day to yeah, do it. Yeah, you just have to trick yourself. You just have to one day just go boop, put your cigarettes down. And, and realize it's going to hurt a little bit. If I if I still obsessed, I'd be smoking again. Believe, you think I could go this long obsessing? How, how long did you quit? Uh, December will be five years. No. Or four years. Wait, December of 2001. be five years in December. Yeah, four I remember when years. that was. It was oh, when yeah. we were doing the what, do you, what have you got segment yeah. of the show. I what, had a moment. What the hell is that? that? Oh, yeah, the guy brought the lungs. What the hell is that? No, the guy was. We had a couple of doctors in the studio, and we had guests hey! come in. 
Hey, hey Colin. Hey, Colin. I was actually... <laughs> <laughs> Take his seat. Oh, Take his seat. Colin seat, Quinn Colin. just ripped oh, Voss out of his seat. <laughs> Took his headphones. You were raped. Oh, man. That's the most Sit exercise on. he's done in a month. Oh. Colin, you picked the perfect hey, day on, to stop you by. Go. You picked the perfect day to stop by. Get in on this. I fucking... Voss is telling us he's going to quit smoking again. But as Colin walked in, I was thinking about Colin. That's fucking really creepy. That's great. Right. You're a psychic. Is that a bandage on your nose? Well, <laughs> well, that's from one of the girls he's dating. <laughs> <laughs> let's get uh, let's get Colin Quinn a mic. We need a chair for My him, surprise. too. Oh, what is that? Colin should not like I'm, I'm expecting Bud Fox to save you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? No, that's not bad. <laughs> LA Confidential? Hey, come on. <laughs> 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 Just threw his his breakfast on the floor. Uh, the reason I came by, by the way, okay. Are we gonna have an intervention or something? Something. Yeah, the reason yeah, I came by. On. No, not in, it's an intervention for you two guys. Uh oh, what oh, do we boy. do? A little power corrupt. Power corrupts. Apparently, from giving this idiot uh, a voice on the radio, he drove me home last night in his Toyota cad Caddy. Have you seen that <laughs> Camry that he calls a Caddy? Yeah. Toyota Caddy. <laughs> Norton, have you seen it? <laughs> it's the worst Cadillac ever. <laughs> It's it's like he shows up. me what do you think? I go, oh yeah. <laughs> Looks like a Camry. So he, uh, he's, got, <laughs> he's got the most awful GPS that like you know it's crayons. It's an eight year old girl. And then uh, uh, seat. and then uh, <laughs> so last night we're driving home this crayons. moron supposed to be uh, you know uh, you I don't believe much in conspiracy. You always have to deny that he believes Thank in everything you. and then he believes in it. Like, <laughs> usually, so he can feel like he's a unique guy instead of just another uh, you know, strip mall idiot like the rest of us. And he's like, I'm not a conspiracy guy like some of these idiots. And he goes into this thing about the the wing nuts. We uh, heard about yeah, yeah. it. It's just so aggravating. I felt like saying, you know, Either do charity or learn a musical <laughs> instrument. Fucking phony bore. It's so boring. <laughs> I mean, if you saw these photos, he goes, give me what? I'm not giving you my fucking emails. You can wait. Send me some shitty picture. Go back to porn. At least then you were kind of excited. <laughs> well, it's phony. Instead of reading a book or taking a class, this is what dumb people do to feel intellectual. They check out like the size of planes. Go. Oh, I mean, if you look at the vector, because some other shit had, <laughs> because some other asshole sent it to him. Go. You know, this is not a seven fifty seven. Yes, it probably is. But who gives a shit? You boring idiot. It was actually take that thing off. Is that a sleep apnea thing? Dude, what, what else could it be? Colin, you're on fire. Don't sit down. He's <laughs> I'm not going to sit down. He's working the room. He's pacing back and forth yeah. and just you, doing I some crowd work. I think you're fat because you don't have to, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. We all, we all do that, though. We'll read all those political books and then just reciting what we just read but to I, other I people. Claim, but, I claim claim it's well, ours. but I was honest about where I got it. I didn't say I made it up. I said that I don't. Uh, I found a, a credible uh, source. The gravitas in his fucking idiotic face is what got to me. He put the pressure on me, though, now to, to dispute this. But you'll watch he goes, I'll send you the link, watch it, and then you tell me where the piece came from that isn't a 757. That's right. Oh, tell him to prove it. And then you just, and I go, well, what's the motive? I don't know, but, well, that yeah. would be part one of this <laughs> argument. But I don't Tell me the motive. Then don't bring it up until you have a motive. Well, I don't have to have a solution. <laughs> no, a motive is different from a solution. You yes, it is. That's a, a motive is a solution as to why. Why it would the government huh. shove a plane into the Pentagon? I yeah. don't. I don't because know. Because they, they were waiting for the right opportunity. So that day, when two planes went into the World Trade Center, they said, "Now's our chance, quick." Because <laughs> <laughs> the one that went into the Trade Center are legit. Yeah, it's that so Pentagon one. Yeah, that, they just had it sitting there waiting for he that. He raised happen. some good points, and I had to say he raised. And some you good raised points. no good points. I didn't say. I did. Mean it. I really felt good to tell you. No <laughs> bars in town. I saw him last night. Bring him in. <laughs> I can call him. Beat it. Beat it. Well, we were talking about uh, Rich Voss and his dumb smoking. He's got to stop smoking. Yeah, why don't you just stop, stupid? I He's quit. almost. I smoked three packs a day and I quit. When again? When you quit? Fifteen years. Then we back to Chicago. But he won't tell us why he won't quit. He keeps making excuses. Okay, well, he's afraid. And uh, setting dates when you he want might to know why quit. You won't quit? Because I fucking smoke. We all smoke. Jim smoked. He quit. <clears throat> because you're afraid to deal with the sadness and the fear and the anger that's going to come out when you quit smoking. You don't have something to hide behind. Oh, First yeah. of all, I deal, I deal with anger and fear on a daily basis. Yeah, by, by lighting up five packs a day. I know. <laughs> 
No, no. And the fetal position. And the, oh! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Some use the machine. Oh, yeah. He's a fetal. <laughs> Do you know that fire that you were talking about <laughs> in the hotel room? Yeah. Is directly because of your smoking, not because of her candle? She lit a candle to stop the smoke. That's right. No, she was reading tarot cards. No, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> if she was reading tarot cards, she's as crazy as you are. <laughs> she does. She needs some more. Were you reading tarot cards? No. Were you reading tarot cards by yes. candlelight? <clears throat> no, I I get a you know a scented candle. <laughs> oh my God. And it's just for the because it's nice. And it's just for the smoke, right? Yeah, I'm for the smoke. Myself, cause no one will whip it off. <laughs> Do you make them open up the anti-suicide windows like that fraction of an inch? Last and night I was there. Yeah, yeah, you were there puffing out there. It doesn't well, work. Blows it right back into the room. One night I look over, he's in bed with a cigarette, asleep. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's never resulted in thousands of deaths. Did you ever see his old apartment on the fucking floor? It looked like little black snail trails because this fucking lazy Jew kept falling asleep with cigarettes in his hand and drinking. Him on the floor. He's not going to die from lung cancer. He's not going <laughs> to. No, he's just going to burn up. Yeah. He's going to take That's a bunch of people with yeah. him. He's fucking. He's sanding something and putting varnish on it, and he uh, falls asleep and fucking kills everyone in the house. What's a little Richie afraid of when he takes a cigarette away and there's no barriers between him and the world? That's right. What is? I'd like to know too. Yeah. I don't know. I just you know it's uh, no no just I'm not afraid of anything. What is little so Richie? You are. It's addiction, and uh, you know. Right, but where does addiction come from? Pile of ashes. What's it's a gold chain and teeth. It well, comes from. It can come from. Uh, you feel comfortable sitting there with something blocking a big wave of smoke blocking you, not only from the uh, world but from your alleged wife. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's reading tarot. She's reading the tarot cards by candlelight. Yeah. And tea leaves. leaves and yeah, she's got to eat tea leaves. It's modern day knitting when a husband's uh, not really. <laughs> yeah, these two are coming up with hobbies so they don't have to hang out with each other. How quick did this <laughs> fall apart? <laughs> yeah. This is the I mean, shortest marriage. I no. want to fucking know what exactly. Like you, you are like you. Know, everyone hides. You, you, you hide your fear yep. behind fucking uh, cigarettes. I other people will hide certain failures behind <laughs> a lot of food. The last year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew it was coming. I know. Can I theorize? Like, wait, Something. Telegraph acting technique. Yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't you wish? Can't wait to see uh, Lucky Louie, or yeah. we call it King of Queens with cursing. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps, Rich, you at, when you started smoking, whatever it was, twenty some years ago. When how what Please. long was it? I don't know. Okay, 20. so a long time ago. Something you is you needed 31. the cigarettes because of your whatever your fear, your unhappiness, but, and now you're addicted. But maybe you don't need the cigarettes Dude, anymore. You have maybe a lovely already, bride. Maybe you're better. You should be happier now. I'm very happy. I got a lot. But you scored, I'm, bro. I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, he did score big. The problem is, <laughs> you still want to think I'm Rich Boss, a teenage rebel, or an old man, a few years away from Boca. Just admit it, and you're in the cigars. And walk around, your new edition could be complaining about your ills. Uh, <laughs> old what? Jews don't smoke. What's the matter with you? I, I hip to the Jews. Cigars. <laughs> <laughs> you leave my stuff alone, Norton. I won't touch your stuff, but you gotta stop smoking. I'm gonna. I really uh, know you. No, set a date. Just set a date. Set a date. Not set June. a date. But you don't do it. do it for us. You, you do, do it now. now. You don't, you don't how many set times a date. Do I, how many times do I say I want to quit smoking? You don't set All a date. You know what you do? I've you never heard a pack. You say no. that. Where's your pack? Huh? Yeah, here's how you do it. Where's your pack? It's out in the car. You know what? And Anthony goes for that. It's on him. Anthony right. goes for the old school Ron Conkerman style. Give me the pack. Ron <laughs> 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 Conkerman. In Anthony's families, you just see like one of the uncles come out in like the sh Bermuda shorts with like the sandal. Give me the pack. He's smoking. <laughs> Give me the pack. Give me the <laughs> quit. There you are. Done. <laughs> <laughs> but that was how he helped me quit. He fucking, Anthony helped me quit by just that the same disgust to just fucking throw the it's pack just, out. You immediately throw it away. And I did. I had one more, and that That's was it. it. Yeah, because it's Juana, or one of these people, remember? No, it no. was the guy with the thing on his yeah. uh, on his lip jaw. We were playing, what the hell is that? What, what the hell is that? We had doctors in the studio, Let's and people, again. people would come up and get free examinations for whatever Weird they got. Shit. Uh, something on their leg, something on there. And this one guy had a bump on his gum line. So the doctor put the glove on, and he's feeling it. He goes, that's a hard lump. That's not good. He goes, you have this checked out immediately. He yeah. goes, you smoke? And the guy's like, yeah. 
And and the guys and then we start talking about how he's going to look with half a jaw. Well, well, the fear on the guys like, oh god, just tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. I mean, it it, it was supposed to be a fun bit and turned into quit. A, that guy it was horrific. And one doctor just to to add to this punched out. He's like, I don't want to be part of this. Wow. He yeah, saw left. what was in that guy's mouth and said, I'm done. I don't want to be part of this. The guy turned out to not have. Right. Well, we found out a month later, but. When he was trying to go, the guy was like saying, all right, where should I go? What should I do? And watching him try to hang on to his sanity, I'm like, that is exactly what it looks like when you find out you have mouth cancer. Yeah. Like, that is exactly yeah. a moment. Because the guy was trying to not panic, and that's what freaked but me out. But it was out. panicking him. Okay, um, where do I go? What, yeah, what, what should I do? Just who should I go to check uh, this out? And just, yeah. If, you know, I want the best guy. And I'll never you ever, you ever, day. You ever stop smoking for a limited time because maybe you had something you didn't know what it was, and you're like, uh-oh. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nothing like that. No. 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 I I smoked Just set a date, stuff. you phony. You did quit for six months. Set a date. You did quit for six months. I quit for six months. Why? What? What spurred that? Uh, I, w I was working in Boston, and I went and saw the Mad Russian. There was a guy up in Boston that I went everybody that guy didn't work went for to me, see, huh? Yeah. Hey, she's a douche. It doesn't work for anybody. No, for oh, yeah, I went six months. <laughs> what's, what's the Mad Russian? <laughs> he was some like some fucking flake. guy. You call me a flake for conspiracy theories? Some fucking commie pushes. <laughs> 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 Why did you throw my Aussie doll in the milk? <laughs> 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 oh, <Jesus. laughs> this is anything one of the anything we shows. think somebody might love has to be destroyed. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he broke my dog. trophy on his dumb <laughs> show. That's really oh, funny. Shit. <laughs> his fucking one Aussie trophy. doll. There's a little Aussie right thing that Stalker Patty gave me, and he just ripped it up and boss. <laughs> oh, oh, things are going bad. <laughs> <laughs> She's the only person that emails me consistently. Uh, who's the man? So, Colin, when's your show on so I can be on? Again. The Mad yeah. Russian is this fucking flaky douche in Boston, and you sit there, and he does an energy thing over you, and oh. supposedly makes you quit. Jesus. And I'm an asshole for thinking that it fucking the guy. Why did you go? Man, that's really? 21 years. Who? How about this? Fuck your aunt. She was ready to quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. if you're ready to quit, maybe that's a help. That's really maybe offensive. that's a help. <laughs> maybe that's you fuck, should do everything you can do. <laughs> I mean, you should... What? Yeah, get a patch, get hypnotized, do all of it. Dad, do you not? like the smoking bonnet? Everything. I love it. I don't want him to quit. Uh, <laughs> Subconsciously wants him to die. What you do? Uh, <laughs> what you do you don't accuse him of that. Uh, you know he has no money. The lost well, fortune. It's, yeah. it's really not fun to be around somebody who's quitting smoking, and I'm not looking for How fun is he now? How much fun could he be? Did you ever smoke? Smoke, uh, Bonnie? Ever? Yes, I You're did. You're dead. I took me many tries. To and quit. you quit? Yeah, so four years. How long now. ago? Four yeah. years. Mm -hmm. You miss it? Um, not, not actually. I, I, at one point before I started dating Rich, I thought I might actually start again. It's very rough when you hook up with a smoker and you've been. That's right. You've quit I, for a while because you just pick it right back up again. Well, she drinks and gets high every now and then, so that that was hard too, you know. Trade Stop it trying in. to even it up. Maybe you could handle <laughs> booze now. <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah. can't please. <laughs> Why don't me and you go to a small? I know a smokers thing next week. Next Sunday we'll go. I'll go with you. To a what smokers thing? Yeah, like a smokers uh, meeting. Next Sunday. Yeah, Sunday night. You're not working. Stop acting like you are. Wait, okay. what's Sunday? This Sunday? Sunday oh. coming up. Yeah, I'll be out of town. But <laughs> he doesn't I'll, know where I'll, Sunday is anymore. I'll be out of town. What, Sunday? <laughs> Sunday? What? what? Hey. Between Why Sunday and <laughs> Monday? No good. No good. <laughs> and Colin, as much as after that Aussie doll thing, how I really don't want to admit this, <laughs> helped me more than anybody. The thing he said to me, which I don't think you made up, but it was no. he said to me, the urge to quit to, to smoke will pass whether you smoke or not. And that was yeah. as so perfectly. Simplistic. As well, it's I the mean, same as drinking and getting. Shut off. up! Stop trying to act like you <laughs> too understand this. Like, yeah. <laughs> You're <still> smoking, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Uh, Rich student. loves to be the expert yeah, on was... uh, addiction. He'll just jump in. Oh, please. I, every, I, listen, what? listen, you got. Look at Bonnie. <laughs> Guess what? Every guy's like that. Hey. No matter who you married, you'd be miserable every time they open their mouth. Like <laughs> hey, boss, are you going to the Freedom Center? What the fuck is the Freedom the, that's Center? That's the laser therapy thing. First of all, somebody goes, what the fuck? Staten you know Island? Doing it. Huh? It's Staten Island. Welcome to Freedom Laser Therapy. What does lasers do to make you stop smoking? Freedom from it's Staten smoking Island. addiction. It's Staten Island. I don't know. I they probably make a good cigarette lighter. He's done <laughs> no research. You light it up with a laser? He's done no research on it. <laughs> None. <laughs> Someone said laser. Someone, Someone yeah. said it to him. Dummy thought technology it's easy. It's the future. No problem. Yeah. They'll, they'll take out that little, that little, that little <laughs> cell that makes me smoke. <laughs> 
Oh, stupid. He thinks they're, they're going to do some kind of brain thing. I told you about it. What's, no. their, uh, what's the gimmick really, here? They don't really explain. Oh, good. It's vague. It's lasers, yeah. and it's vague. Low-level sh- laser therapy. Hold on. I think I have You don't a, have to wear contacts anymore. They use some kind of <laughs> Jedi mind shit on you. You don't need that cigarette anymore. <laughs> you will have no need to smoke. Hey, You'll feel you great as soon as you hit Sunday when you get back in town. We'll go to a place. Here we uh, go. Here we yeah. go. Yeah. We got Tyler that? in Columbus. Tyler for Rich hey, Voss. Up, hey. Hey, uh, yeah, I got, you guys were just talking about that guy that uh, had the big lump in his mouth uh, from years ago. Yeah. Uh, my father-in-law uh got the big casino in his jaw and, and uh, about a month ago he just had it removed um he's uh about what are you boss about uh in your 40s yeah. good call he's 80 what did he have the big what just cancer, cancer. The, oh. the big casino oh i thought he had like seizures or bowlies no he's uh actually had cancer <laughs> in his mouth like twice now. no headphones <laughs> and uh for rich no, no, for fun. rich for why, Colin. Uh, why would there be headphones for somebody that's in studio with us That'd look why, would, uh, why? Why would we have that? Colin actually took a toilet paper tube to his ear and he put it to <laughs> Rich's this, head. A great photo He's of hearing the sea. Wait, <laughs> that's <laughs> wacky. Here's that's the, uh, here's wacky. Billy. Wait, so he had uh, his, he had his whole jaw removed, not the tumor. Uh, yeah, they had, they had to take his uh, the cancer spread through actually the bone in there his jaw. There you go. There you go, boss. Ah, right. And, the, and actually that, the maybe. veins and everything in his jaw, and they had to remove the whole damn thing and rebuild it. They took like hip from or bone from his hip and skin from his chest and legs and made him a new jaw, but he's all. Oh, hey, boss, stop it! Dude, this guy's telling he's, what, this guy right I now. I know these up. stories. If I'm not fucking ready, yeah. I by know. the way, caller, you uh, know what? You're, during your story, Rich was checking uh, his, his bookings <laughs> no, on I, his Palm Pilot no, thing. I was trying. He's to, not even. No, I was trying to find the, the quit smoking thing right here, and I found the uh, the uh, link. Uh, website or whatever. No, I mean, people, yeah, right next to the link to buy cigarettes online. <laughs> uh, quit you? And all that, you know, all that shit. But it's like, uh, you know, when you see it, like I'm sitting across the room from the guy, and it's like tongues, his dead tongue, his tongue died. They had to remove that too. So like, eighty percent. All right, bad, there's right? an upside to the whole thing. <laughs> but wait a second. From what well, was that from smoking? Yeah, it was from smoking. Or chewing they, tobacco. No, he didn't chew. They said he got the cancer from. Uh, uh, they told him he was going to get cancer in his mouth from smoking. Find and, another uh, way to justify it. Sure yeah, filterless. That's all. One hundreds. Is he a Christian? <laughs> Plus, it's not going to help those tombstones you call teeth. You're going to turn it gray from smoking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tyler. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. Here's what I'm, I'm sorry you didn't get the reaction you were looking for. I'm, yeah, I'm boss, sure. no, he's got a point. Which his boss has to have the guts to go to a cancer get a war. Car crash. Yeah. So it's all good. No, uh, you're fine. Thanks. All right. Uh, okay. You know what I'm gonna do? April twenty second. Why April? That's My ex-wife's idea. birthday. Why are you <laughs> picking a date? <laughs> he's supposed to pick a date. Is that it? I've done all that stuff. I just quit. I once was just like Rich Voss. Really? Oh, I tried it all. The the Mad Russian, all uh, of them. Uh, well, here's uh, here's where Rich is going. Oh, the laser thing. Now, what do they do? It's a therapy you can't even pronounce. Oracular therapy. That's why Voss picked. Oracular. It's the one. Per- it's the one is word it he can't something like <laughs> ocular? A U R. A U R. What do they go through your ear? I C U L O therapy. Auricular. Auricular. All right. There Wait you go. a minute. If this involves your fucking ear, here we go. It's, what is it? It's a non-invasive form of acupuncture, no That's, needles. It utilizes a minor electrical impulse to stimulate I acupuncture points too. in the outer ear. Good I did that one, too. It didn't work. Really? Don't be nope. ass. Why do you think a laser beam in your ear is going to stop you from smoking? It might stop the zips that are on the back of my yeah, ear. It's going to, it's going to start boiling the system. The doctor's going to drop dead. <laughs> I'm surprised you can even light I thought the, uh, you know, the, the, the wetness would put your cigarettes out immediately. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> he spit them out. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this, is, this technique's been used for pain, addictions, and a host of many other I did it. It didn't work. How no. you it it? It's new. I did it. They didn't have it back. Back then. No. Yeah. I Watch did it, 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 new he did it when it was the acupuncture. You know what? Uh, you know how stupid Voss is? It says around the website that they've been doing this since 500 BC in China. I haven't checked the website <laughs> out yet. No. <laughs> it's no. Like gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a pterodactyl? <laughs> <laughs> they invent, maybe, but. <laughs> they, invent, 
They invented the wheel and then this technique yeah. the next day. But it's new to Voss. <laughs> it's, it's the newest thing since the stone tool. Fucking <laughs> Voss. I haven't actually gone to the website yet. It's new. Forget about it. 500 BC in no. China. I hip to acupuncture. Oh. Oh. One time I went to get like acupuncture no McDonald goes, you know, that's great stuff because I was injured. He goes, they've used that for millions of years in China, yeah. I go, yeah. He goes, yeah, then they invented medicine. So they didn't have to use it. <laughs> you guys are always at a TV quote each other? What? I wish I had a car. Yeah. No, I don't want to use the car crash. I want to. I want to clip of him lighting up. <laughs> what did right. Kevin Nealon have to say about it? <laughs> wow. I'll tell you the truth. Honestly, I should never come on Opie and Anthony again. <laughs> because of New Year's Eve, guys. It's not your fault. Well, Just yeah. the fact when that I pull, up, I pull up on 69th Street and uh, uh, whatever it's called, you know, not King of Prussia. Yeah. And uh, right outside of Philly. Yeah. Philly. And there's a sign. I'm sure you should do a t-shirt. Yeah. Jim Norton, big letters. Rich Voss, big letters. Colin Quinn, mini letters. He oh, a he, he took a picture. Yeah. yeah. And then he made a t-shirt. Made a t-shirt. Can you imagine yeah. all jokes aside, even the Opie and Anthony crowd, I came on stage, I go, folks, that hurt. And they laughed. They knew exactly what it was going <laughs> yeah. well, Can you imagine how bad his career is? He doubled up on New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> he left there and went and did another gig in Atlantic City. Okay? <laughs> Fucking idiot. It's New Year's Eve. Some, somebody cancel Atlantic City. Get Colin. We know he's open. You're pushing. It was doing good. Yeah, so I got greedy. Yeah, I got greedy. And he did. reached for the coffee. But, but, yeah. uh, that's that always a sign. I'll <laughs> <laughs> distract him with the lifting of the Look, coffee. Look, I've been Colin, finished. Colin killed <laughs> on New Year's <laughs> Eve and gave me the best intro in the world. Actually, that was an unbelievable show. I did, right? I yeah, shut that crowd. You know, first of all, you're one of the best comics in the country. It's true. You, you really never knew are. that until people told you, but thank no, you. No, I fucking, I won. You know, we even TV'd your HBO special. That's when it all started with him, when he first hated me. No, I Never hated it. He gave, he Voss, gave. never let. Voss, let's be honest. I love you. No. A tough crowd. I looked past my own, the fact that you were too dumb to realize I was funny till Norton. I just thought his HBO you. special wasn't one of the best. I said, after I saw it, I called cable and canceled HBO. And oh. he got mad, right? But he. That's not really, what it was. For years. He thought. What was it? What, when we did a roast at Caroline's. Uh, I wasn't at this roast. It was him and some other idiots. And he goes. And, he, you know, roasts are all jokes that are funny if you believe them. One of his jokes was, and, of course, I have my little snitches telling me. <laughs> this years ago, for, before Tough Guy, he goes, the luckiest people in the world, Sue Costello and Colin Quinn. <laughs> and this is his mentality towards me. Then he brings me on stage one night. I was doing, like, these one-liners, but I pretended it was in a poem form, kind of ironically, which was my first mistake. He goes, up, he goes you know, and I bombed. And, he, and this is in the middle of, like, a tough patch in my career. He goes, I don't do jokes. I mean, I don't do puns. I do fucking jokes. <laughs> and you're like, hey. Oh, no. It was just you this type fuck. of oh, Fucking Larry wow. can't let go. First of all, he remembers all these Larry. dumb you things. Right to, I know. Hold on, you were right to say that. What? That's what you fucking get for trying to be Andy Kopp and shit dick. Go up yeah. there and fucking tell Andy jokes. Andy Kopp? They were <laughs> jokes. <laughs> um, shut up. But they were jokes. Let you me tell you there. You were still in Jersey. Hickory, dickory, duh. I know. Fucking Louis. Louis C.K. told you to act like Andy Kaufman. You'd have the suit on tomorrow. So shut the fuck up, okay? All right? You'd be you know what's so funny? You it's could... like he was sticking up for you. Like he was... Sl- it, it gets all it gets crazy. All... You know? That's it's just the beauty of it. Tank. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going after the jellyfish, you little That's fuck. beauty. Let me tell you something. First of all, I've always... Every radio show I go on, everywhere I go, I, I always fucking bring up comedy. After I put you in Tough Crowd, you realize that was funny. If no, before Tough Crowd. Tr- no, was, I, I love you, but you're too dumb. To realize how funny I am. How about this? You Either kidding? you fucking stop groveling <laughs> no, or you let him grovel. All right, one of the two. Good Here's point. The thing. There's three comics I bring up on the radio you, him, and Patrice, okay? I always knew Colin was funny, okay? Always. It's just that he didn't and prove himself. Idea. <laughs> you know, fucking, he's a brilliant guy, you know, and I know he's going to get back. I can't even believe you're walking Boring. around without Nick DiPaolo hanging on your coattail today. Uh, oh, oh, uh, that hurts. Oh, fuck him. You had to go there. <laughs> Why don't we take a break? Well, they had a little material difference. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Colin, you got any uh, gigs we're promoting, or are you just nope. hanging? Say, just wait just for a job interview. No, how about this? Whatever gigs I'm promoting, chances are he'll show up and do a few minutes up front.
We don't get it. Oh, that one. Yes, you do, stupid. <laughs> oh, I, that ops not getting a laugh. Listen, no. <laughs> it bombed, but it was kind of true. It felt good. When you open for, t- when you open for Norton, it would be fine if I had to board it up He gives first. you a checklist of bits well, you can't do. Really? Laugh. Yeah, when Norton, you open for Norton, he gives you a checklist. Don't do this, don't do this, don't oh. do this. It's a whole subject thing, didn't you yeah. know? No, well, that night, him just sitting there like, uh, like with that serious attitude, like, hey, guys, and he has his little dressing room. I, well, he didn't, I messed up all his food. I smashed his sandwiches. I put all kinds of, and he didn't even eat any of it. He's, he's got like a special <laughs> thing where he's got to have every kind of. Yeah. Uh, he's got he is very rider. finicky. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like he's, he's got a writer with little things about what he wants to dress him. Yeah. yeah. Four bottles of uh, unopened water and, and a big black cock. <laughs> that crackle is Colin's pinky hitting the antenna on the. Yeah, that's why I moved. I tried to move yeah. your hand before, but you don't. You don't. Yeah. Pull. There you go. Up. You don't know how to hold it. There you go. Like that. There you go. You, you got to go. hold it tight. You, you just kept hitting the thing like a. That's the antenna. There you go. Just hold it like that. I know that's. Maybe we could get a stand for him. I'll give him my mic. It doesn't matter. All right, we'll take a break. I'm going to give him my mic. Colin Quinn just hanging. Rich Voss in Cleveland, where? Cleveland Improv this week with uh, Bonnie and Rich Voss. uh, And and Jimmy's going to be in Poughkeepsie at Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie Oh, yeah, Bananas? Bananas. Yes. Finally, he's moving back in the direction he belongs. (laughs) (laughs) Where were those big big theater gigs? Loser. When the HBO show comes, hold on. It's not going to change nothing when the HBO show comes. Shut up. I've been back and I've been up and down. (laughs) Up and down. (laughs) I want to answer your question as to when those theater gigs are. I have uh, the event center at the Borgata Casino with Dave Attell uh, in May, going on sale Saturday, and the Orpheum in Boston going on sale, I believe. Uh, with Attell? Yes. And the Orpheum? Yes. Both of them with Attell, huh? Yes. Why don't you throw Dane Cook on to make sure you don't uh, you know, empty out the place? <laughs> <laughs> Who's closing? Dave. Why? Why don't you get Louis Black? Who? And if I would have said me, you would have said why. No. <laughs> <laughs> point. Who's hosting? To that hey, question. who's hosting? We don't know yet, but don't even think about it. You Why? fucking perpetual host. No. I'm a great host. Exactly. You're not hosting. <laughs> right, we're gonna, You're I'm not gonna hosting. fucking weasel myself on your show. And the, the fucking bigger. bury both of you fucking humps. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a break. Hey, when we get back, uh, we got a lot of comedians in the studio, obviously. America's Funniest Mom, season two started. Uh, oh, oh. It's got to be oh. hysterical. I vote for Yates. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's hog is just big enough for my baby. Well, I do have big tits, goddammit. God damn it, what nice tits. Whip them out Wednesday. Whip them out Wednesday. Ladies, be careful. <laughs> hey, they can actually help. They can be the new freedom fighter. The show continues through the break. Anthony's been showing uh, Colin Quinn pal talk. Pal, the girls of pal talk. We like introducing them to uh, anybody that's come in and hasn't seen pal talk yet. And Colin uh, seems to like Oh, it. my God, do I like it. It's Whip Him Out Wednesday, and the girls are flashing boobs and everything else on pal talk today. Yeah, we got one up here, uh, Red Room 6. Uh, just sitting there in a little short skirt. Oh, my God. And Amanda whoa. Panda, she's not playing. Yeah. Anymore. And uh, she's in her little skirt, and there's no panties on under there. Ooh. So what we are seeing is her in her pierced glory. She doesn't have any underpants. No underpants at all. Ooh. You see that kid that went to Capitol Hill that was doing all the computer sex? He made all the money, and now he snitched everybody I out. I know. What yeah, a little whip. Yeah, now he's a rat. He, he makes a fortune, and then he just drops he's a like, dime. And they did this, and I... And my father goes, I'll help you really maximize the business. Yeah, yeah. that was the worst. <laughs> How old was he? Um, 15. He started at he started, 15. Oh, I thought he started at 13. Was he just jacking off on camera? Or was he well, banging? Yeah, they were to take, he was a phony. They were telling him to take <laughs> oh, his shirt off. Jeez, come on. Amanda, we're trying to... <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's she doing? It's ridiculous. Amanda Ooh. Panda is... Uh, sucking her own bosom. Yeah, she's got a nip in her mouth. That's Hot. lovely. I think up. that kid, that 15-year-old kid should... Uh, I hope he ends up on the Duke lacrosse team. <laughs> How about that phony story? How many brothers jump on the young white girls on the b-ball teams? Nobody says yeah. worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they hired groupies. A, they hired a black stripper, right, for a party. They're groupies. How do you know? Was it white guys heard. raped a black girl? Is that what? They, was that why they're told? Well, they hired a black. I guess they hired a black stripper for one of their uh, parties. Well, right? They hired her to strip and do some housework, and things well, got out of hand. Is that what you're saying? Things got a little out of hand. It'll, it'll happen. First of all, they're a lacrosse team. Who gives a fuck about them? Well, that's a good point. I didn't even know people still play lacrosse. Do you guys want the audio of the 13-year-old porn boy from the Today Show? You or bet we do. Or America's Funniest Moms, season two. Oh. Funniest oh. Moms. America's Mom. Mo- Funniest Moms. Honestly, the mom- Funniest Moms, because in today's world, you need a laugh. Yes, especially if you're a mom. 
It's so know? hard to handle the kids and uh, oh, life the whole style thing is ridiculous. And, and, uh, and be funny. Well, is Paula Bell on there? So, I don't know. She, your mom? The she first, went to the house. Their house or whatever moms. they do. They have a house, too? They had a hotel or they went to a hotel. The first clip is Paula, so I guess so. Is it Paula? Is Paula she funny? Yeah, I like Paula. Yeah, she's pretty aggressive and abrasive on stage. She's well, they're trying to find the. They the took her kids mom. away from her. Uh, if that helps. That's them. funny. <laughs> exactly. That's America's funny. smartest mom. <laughs> well, let's listen to Paula. All right. Let's meet our first semifinalist. Paula Bell, show her some love. I'm Paula Bell. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Being a mom has inspired my comedy. I have one daughter that's in love with me and one who's not too fond of me, so that's, there's a lot of humor in that. In any town I go to, I'm a regular average-sized human being. In Hollywood, I'm a big, huge, fat slob. Everybody's so thin, girls are walking in and out of doors without opening it. Well, I'm a little schizophrenic, you know. I'm married too young. Somebody should have stopped that ceremony. <laughs> Walking down the aisle with a backpack on. All the young girls, they want to go down the aisle, parachute down in the big dress. <laughs> Taking those little steps. Here it comes. <laughs> you know why they have you take those little steps? To get used to the shackles. <laughs> it's not marriage, it's Shawshank. <laughs> What have we got here? A fucking comedian. <laughs> First of all, why is there a music... Oh, sorry, Rob, Why is there fucking a music band? I'll tell you why. They weren't confident in the in the material. <laughs> right. So they Shit. overproduced the hell out of it. What do you Lab tracks, music five. beds, uh, hide yeah. awfulness. Bam, down, down. Well, how, well, this comedy is the new rock and roll of the 80s. <laughs> how, how, fun, how funny can you be on these network shows? She goes yeah, out with Brian Holtz. Have you seen the Tonight Show when I'm on it? Pretty fucking funny. Hey, oh, yes, you're damn true. right. That that's true. right. Jimmy was not only that, but I know one guy that really stepped up on the... Oh. Network show, Rich Voss. Boy, when he was ironing away, <laughs> he found a piece of business. What was it like to sit home and watch me? Uh, what were you eating? Oh. To sit home and watch you on that show? It was, you know, I felt kind of sad. <laughs> 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 yeah. I Why sat there you? envious. Damn it. If only I could have been on that nightmare. <laughs> Why would you have thrown him that fucking underhanded pitch? <laughs> what was it like? Go ahead, sir. I wonder if they force you on that show to do gynocentric, though, material. Yeah. What? Gynocentric. Girl stuff. How you still mad? Gynocentric. Oh, what a great relationship. And he goes, what? Girl stuff. It's like George and Gracie, only he's Gracie. <laughs> But Girl it was stop. every joke Crazy. was. That's what you guys should do. The, the relationship should be that on stage. <laughs> right. I know Centric. What? And he got yeah. mad at her because he feels like he's, she's embarrassing him in front of the front. Yeah. I'll say Don't words and he, he'll say, nobody says those words, but they're just uh. everyday oh, words. Yeah. Well, no, but nobody them. says yeah. them yeah. in the circles in which he's traveled, <laughs> which like, is 287. <laughs> give us an example. 9W. Uh, yeah, give us an example. What was one of the words plate. that she uses? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I I don't remember them. There's oh. no way I would know them. You know that one you said the other day. It's just it, she tries to fucking show I don't off. Try. What was this part of her vocabulary? What word that you didn't know? I... Moral courage. <laughs> <laughs> Those two words. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, we got Donna, the fat black comic. Well, she's my name is Donna Mary. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, uh, competition what? would Crazy. just open up so many different doors that I bet I've been trying to kick down for yeah. so long. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready to reintroduce. Myself, and I Skinny want to girl. clap oh. like y'all invited me over for dinner, and I told y'all no. Yeah. The audience was yes, really great, and um, they gave me love, and I gave them love back. I'm sorry, I'm late, but um, they ran out of big towels at the hotel, and I had to drive with a face cloth. I know that feeling. Oh, uh, wow. oh, yeah, but that's a good. That's funny because everybody has that feeling when you have a small town. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven out of ten black comics get introduced and they go, that ain't enough. I'm going to walk off and come back out. I want you guys. And that's what she did. I want you show guys to show some love. Show I'm some start saying that. Oh, the force. Show some yeah, love. It's, no, uh, you know, and then, stop. then they get the applause. You know, uh, how many people like air and shit like that? You know, how many people, <laughs> how many people out here bathe? No applause. Uh, Remember well, that guy? Oh. That we were at this club and um, this guy, like every... 
uh, he he just kept asking questions to the audience, and then they'd applaud. And I said to Rich, ask when he comes back to the green room, like yeah. how great he did, like he got five applause breaks. And the guy goes, Yeah, they're a nice crowd. I did I did well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God <laughs> damn! <laughs> how many? Yeah, the how many people yeah. applause break? And he was yeah. like, eh, Is there Catholics in the audience? Do we have cat? You know. Uh, so he goes back, and I go, Man, you killed! How many applause breaks you get? He goes like six, right? I did well. Yeah, they liked me. Every MC you work with on the road is horrific. <laughs> right? Carlo was the only good MC. That, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Do you see how big this stupid Duke story is? is? This about you understand how yeah. divided by this country is race. so phony? How about the fucking Daryl, the Little John? Why don't they talk about that? The way he fucking uh, raped that white girl. They don't talk about that. Or well, she nah. was actually Filipino. Whatever the fuck stupid. she was, she was asking for it. <laughs> well, you know, Whoa. this is how... No, this he is only how said that because he was ashamed when he realized she wasn't meaning white there was no, he was dumb. No, meaning there was no racial implications. I know, but I, I, exactly, the point is, it's it's white media going, oh, oh. let's try to absolve ourselves in case there's a riot. They won't hit us. Right. It's fucking liberal. Why did you admit that all these incidents that happen with athletes 90% of the time, it's a black athlete's doing it to white people? They just did on Dateline, they did a thing with in, uh -oh. in cabs where, where they had, no, where they had the, the driver, oh, no, where go. they had the driver baiting the passengers and talk about racial stuff. Uh -huh. And they had, you know, a white driver have them talk about Jews, have them talk about Chinese and everything. But they didn't have cab? any black driver with, a, with black passengers well, talking about white people. Well, because they don't pick up black people. No, oh, they, yeah. no, but you see what I'm saying? It made everybody they look bad. They tried to but do that black. part of the story, but... <laughs> the cab drivers but I, were like, man, yeah. Man. But let me ask you something. When somebody brings up a subject, like I just put up like a nationally sweeping subject, don't you go from a specific thing like the cab thing into a national thing, not the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Was he was giving a, a... He was a, giving one example. I understand he what he was doing. He was giving an example so that you knew he understood. I know, but it was really... It, it just took all the wind out of everything. <laughs> well, maybe if you stood there with a pool stick in your hand, it would have been a lot better. I didn't I don't get, get it. That. I guess tough crowd. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that there was a racial. I didn't know that there was yeah. a black girl. That they were, uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah, know Jesse that. Jackson. That's why it's a big deal. Oh, fucking That's enough. That's why it's him. a big deal. It makes me wonder who I hate more: white people or black people? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you are profound. I like That's Filipinos. <laughs> I don't know any Fili She wasn't Filipino, by the way. I like to fill them up with Pino. She's oh, you still pissed because you were wrong? Shut up and She wasn't Filipino. She was closer to Filipino than white, so but at least you're admitting that you don't... Beat it. At least you're admitting you don't know what she was. Yeah, I'm saying she was Filipino, and you're I like guessing. to fill them up with Pinos. Oh, stop. <laughs> All right. You're guessing. Here, here's another question. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. She wasn't Filipino. Oh. You see her eyes? By the way, are these single... Funniest single moms, or these are just I moms? No, just moms. Just moms, and yeah, there's a lot of married. Married. Still talking Duke. about Duke. It's well, the big story on it's, CNN. It's one of the big stories out there right now. Play the Sally Field clip. <laughs> Which one? Oh my God! From he goes back. Line? How old is oh that? Oh my movie? God! <laughs> are you kidding me? That new a movie, Punchline. Punch punch line. Line. Wow. They had lockers. Promise it's right. Had lockers. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> it's right there with the acupuncture. <laughs> it's new. Acupuncture. <laughs> um, well, then we got this story too that we were supposed to get to. Cindy McKinney, yeah. She. she all right, we got a. How about a, a one more Filipino too, shithead? <laughs> Let's go to uh, America's Funniest Mom, season two. Here's good old. You know what I was trying to say? Here's good old Jess. I'm Jess J. I'm from Denver, Colorado. I just want to show that females are just as funny as the guys. Shut up, my You're dressing real nice, real pretty. I can't do that anymore because I have a 204 month old. <laughs> I couldn't be funny without my son. He's my whole act, and I wouldn't have anything else to say. Uh. I blame my mother the reason why we got beat up all the time. I do. I grew up in the inner city. She gonna raise me like we lived in the suburbs. You know, we gonna have book club meetings and stuff. Fine, they find out we can read. You know what they gonna do to me? I won. Can I get my check? Ladies, go home. Your kids are calling. That's why I am America's funniest mom. Oh, not only can you not be funny without your kids, you couldn't also get government assistance without them. You can't stutter on any of the words on radio. <laughs> I hate when shit comments are like... Oh, I, I just want to prove that women are funny. It's been proven. There's been lots of really good female comics before your dumbass came exactly. along. Exactly. Well, Such a like. Slow down. Mom's Mabelie. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That new one, Mom's Mabelie. <laughs> Mini Pearl. That price tag cracks me up. <laughs> like Bonnie's starting to sense something. Go ahead, Bonnie. Say yeah. it. No, Go ahead, that's say fine. It. You're that's sensing the boy. It's kind of like Go ahead. Come on, Bonnie. It's just disrespectful to every other female comic. 
Right. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it. That is true. There was so, like, I, uh, there, there are plenty of guy comics that stink. That's right. But since there aren't as many girl comics as guy comics, well, the ratio there. There's more girl comics. That's that exactly right. Now, who's good? Is and the other mistake. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say Marina. That it's we stay at the cellar all the time. She's working with me in Poughkeepsie this weekend. <laughs> if her fucking manager would stop asking for eight grand. That's the funny. Wow. Don't go Jason to... Steinberg. What? You go, who's funny, Marina? That's like going, I had a colored friend in high school. Colors. I mean, she is funny, but just... I don't give a shit if she's black. Yeah, no, no, no. no, 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 no I'll tell you why I think she's funny. No, no, no. She doesn't black. do the typical, you know, female comic bullshit. No, she's I'm just saying, a funny... No, I wasn't saying because she's black. But what are you going to quit smoking? Listen, like, you could get tons of funny... I, I mean, get, Duty Gold, I think, is funny. Yeah, but... Uh, but what about Marina? Marina's, Marina's great. Marina's I had her open for me at the well, fire. Uh, for Keith All I'm saying is, like... I, I don't I'm with Anthony. Yeah. No, I, the stereotypical female comic, it's so played out. It's like, we get it. No, you're right. If the they kid do, jokes about the still... The fucking dating. The mom is still... Oh, if I don't get a husband soon, my right. mom... Right. Well, why do I feel like the girl on the, on the right-hand side is being forced, and there's two bikers right off camera... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pal dog. That's the best kind of porn when they, they yeah. don't want to be yeah. doing it. Gun points. <laughs> all right, why don't we uh, see what Joy's all about? America's Funniest Mom. I love kids. I love to play with kids. Oh. I'm Emily J. I'm from Roy City, Utah. My sister has a little baby, and she brought him over to my house last week, so I went and got a ball, and I rolled it to him, and he screamed, and he wouldn't roll it back. I guess bowling just isn't his sport. <laughs> I love the one-liners. That's my favorite. <laughs> so last week, my son brought home a uh, ferret, and he said, Hey, Ma, do we have anything warm we can put over it? And I said, Sure. How about the Buick? I love the little hand oh. gesture you do. Oh, funny. yeah. That's a great, the, like, little the touch. Joke suck. I've met a bunch of the other moms, and at first I was kind of intimidated by them. I thought, Oh, they're all so funny. They're all so funny, and they're funnier than me. This sounds like therapy, doesn't it? Who's the Buick really line was it? good. She actually, I like that. She's hurting a child with a bowling ball and killing a little a ferret with a car. That's yeah, I do right. like that. It's both abusive fucking angry like jokes. That. All right. That's it. All right. Well, she tell her she wins. Show. No, but she sounded like Rita Rudner too much. Yeah, she didn't have so? that Rita Rudner yeah, her voice, though. delivery. Oh, Rich. <laughs> Here's Lisa, the hot one. I'm Lisa Alvarado from Los Angeles, California. When we used to sit, my whole family around the TV and watch Bill Cosby, the whole room was just electric with laughter. And I'm like, they? I want to know how to do that. <laughs> I am was Latina. Molesting my you? last name yeah. is Alvarado, which is Spanish for single parent. <laughs> my experiences today, it was hard because of the way I look. I knew that they expected me not to be funny. Lisa, can you go get us some chicken? <laughs> I can get you a little can of whoop ass. Oh. I think I proved them wrong tonight. I'm not even the typical Latina, you know? I don't fit in just because I was pregnant in my late teens, you know? <laughs> my mom was total pressure. She's, hurry up, your little brother's already a grandfather. <laughs> That's funny. Lamencia. That's funny as we pay for all of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another 200 a month out of you. That was my respite. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke I just did a second ago. What was the joke? What uh, joke? Government assistant. Oh, yeah, you can't just blurt out government assistant. <laughs> yeah. oh. And first of all, her kid doesn't even live with her. Half of these moms, her kids don't live with them. They're living in another state Who with cares? their... What are you doing, an expose on the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. He's You're working for Dateline? <laughs> How do you even know that? <laughs> we found that these parents aren't even really parents. Half of their acts. Well, I heard you're not really ducking your daughter over that thing. I heard you're not ducking your daughter over that loan, Shanette. <laughs> oh, my God. You you're living in an together. orphanage. You know, those new buildings they put. <laughs> This is Who does she think level he is, Nutsy left. Fagan? <laughs> <laughs> She's just a big sister. This guy's going nuts on uh, the phone here. Brian, what's the is. problem? Oh, you you got to kill this. This is this is off. I can't even listen to this. This is like the, the, the comic equivalent of the, the women's basketball with the like spastic layups. It, it's, it's not, <laughs> they're, they're not funny. Wasn't everyone excited to watch the uh, NCAA Women's Championship? Oh, dude, I, I mean, the, oh, one of them will fantastic. eventually get to the Liberty. <laughs> that's great. I tried watching it, but then I was like, <laughs> they, they bring oh, it. Good I'll tell you, they're it a little better. Oh, they are. Cares. They almost. They can play. Like they're guys fucking they're women boxing. Women boxing can box. Yeah, let them fight fucking Mitch Blood Green. <laughs> they 
They can't box. Women can't box. Have you seen some no, of these they freaking can box. boxing men? They, men. they, they, some they can't box a man. Yeah, some of them could. No, wow. they can't. A this guy? Tough Put him in a ring with now. Chuck Liddell in the octagon. Exactly. That's what I want to see. I want to see that animal <laughs> rip her tits off and shove him down her throat. Chuck Liddell. <laughs> Chuck Liddell, maniac. He's the most undefined badass ever. Oh, <laughs> what no an definition. animal. And yeah, no definition. No definition whatsoever, but he will kill you. Yeah, he'll kill you. Want to listen to more of this crap? No, go ahead. I don't know. I kind of like her, though. She has some good ones. Oh. I'm Sherry Davy. I'm the mother of a beautiful daughter. Yeah, I've lived in this country Uh-oh. so many years. People are still mimicking me like mad. It's incredible. Like, I walked into the theater tonight. This woman overheard me speak. She's like, oh, my God, you're English. Whoa. Cup of tea. I'm like, you're laughing. I don't talk like that. And how come it's okay to make fun of me, but it's not okay to go up to somebody else and be like, oh my God, you're Indian. Oh, goodness gracious me. Welcome to my convenience store. How come that's not okay? Whoa. I am not a British woman. I am an American with an English accent. I wasn't raised here, but I was born in New Jersey. So I'm an American. And Americans do come with funny accents. If you don't think that, then you haven't been to Tennessee. You write it on your hand? Yes, this is what I always do. This is my thing. This is my you ritual. You know it. I do know it. You know it. But you know what? I've just oh, touched your bosom. My yes, husband did. Did. Believe it or not, I do live in Brooklyn. And it's a very hard place, very tough. It's the first place I ever heard the expression, move your freaking wheelchair. I'm not kidding you. Somebody said that, I swear to God. And it was a blind guy. I'm not kidding you. Oh, English oh. Joan Rivers, so... Oh. I'm not kidding you. So you just say I'm not kidding you, it's... Oh, not means you are kind of kidding, kidding you. Uh, I'm not is, kidding. America's, fu- uh, America's Funniest Mom should be sponsored by a coat hanger company. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's an atrocious fucking show. <laughs> yeah, you gotta hear Donna, Donna Lee. I'm what like, network oh. is this on? Uh, yeah, what is it? Um, w Black. <laughs> Nickelodeon. <laughs> Nickelodeon. Is it really? It's, wow, look at that. it's not bad. Oh, so there has to be. Anybody watching the midget show? By the way. What's that? Were they whites and blacks tra- trade places? No, no. 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 Oh, Which one is it? That. The midgets. Yeah, yeah. Little people, big the world, family of midgets. Oh. oh, best show on TV. And then one of the kids TLC. ain't a midget. Put yeah. it on. Two midgets oh, or dwarfs, the whatever channel. they are, got together and they had four kids, oh. three are normal size, and uh, and one and is one's luck of the draw. Could, and the yeah. one that's not normal size has a twin brother that's normal size. I want to do a show on Patty's building, starring Patty, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like a Mary Tyler Moore with all those degenerates and psycho <laughs> ex-convict murderers that you live in that building. You know the degenerates that must live in that <laughs> building. Who can turn the world on? With <laughs> with the smile. At, the end, she, at the end, she throws up her wig, and Opie hides it. <laughs> <laughs> Who can make a nothing day and suddenly make it even more nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if no one has seen the show, then forget about it. You should check it out on TLC. I want to see it. Uh, TLC has become the the freak uh, network. And what happens if people bully them and make fun of them? No, they live on a farm and, I don't know, it's under the guise of, you know, understanding. Do the animals attack them? Uh, they have to enter through the dog door. A lot of footstools. You can always tell who the you can always tell when the fucking the one midget kid answers because it's like ring what? <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know the executive's like, I'll tell you one thing. I don't know much, but I know people are gonna keep the TV on when you see a cow chasing a midget. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Jason in North Carolina. Jason, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Hey. Hey, is Kevin yeah. here? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Are you uh, panicking hey guys, on us? Hey, go, man. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm moving into the house right now. I'm kind of. I'm kind of. Hey, I just want to tell Colin real quick. Hey, man, I was out at her this last year when you came out and did your show. I really appreciate it, and the, the the Marines really enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, man. Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, do you live near Duke? No. no what do you think of that whole nonsense? Yeah, I'm on the coast. I'm over. I'm about two hours away from uh, Raleigh, Durham. Oh, I like it, Wilmington. Yeah, right, yeah, right up there in Camp Lejeune. Nice. Well, thanks, man. My, right. It was hey, my pleasure. Love the show. Talk to you later. Push All down. right. Thank you, guys. All right. Very good. Uh, we'll go on to the next mom, Donna Lee. I'm Donna Lee McBride. I'm the mother of one. My mom is Thai and my dad is Irish, so I'm Tyrish. <laughs> I thought, though, it could be worse. If my mom was from Canada and my dad was from Chile, I'd be a can of chili. Does this come in a 3X? Because this is fabulous. I'm not sure. My mom lives on a tiny little ranch in Texas. I called her as soon as I found out I was coming to New York, and I was so excited. And she said, oh, Donna, I have the goose nipple. 
And I said, you have goose pimples? And she said, that's what I say. I have the goose nipple. Oh, Mom. I think people understand cross-cultural humor because if they don't have a family member, they have an experience or a friendship or something that they probably Or rape, draw from. hatred, <laughs> something. <laughs> they, these girls haven't had enough pain in their life to be funny. You could tell. They're just, they were thrown into this house. Paula has... Paul goes out with that guy, Brian Holtzman, okay, who's hilarious. But you could tell they're just, ugh. You're in deep wrong. trouble. You better say something funny. I know, I get, <laughs> that I was know, the I'm, worst train of thought I've ever heard. I know. How about this? How about this? We all just. On my. Uh, the we two days I actually it. went on, uh, whatever that's called. Uh, Atkins? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had nothing on that one. Oh, that was a good one. The two days I went, oh, my MySpace. So this girl writes this letter. And it's like, ask, tell me what you think. So I thought it was going to be her flash and her tits, of course. I go on to some amateur comic. Do people do, if you do, if you have family there, will you dare do a joke that's going to be offensive to your family? So it's like 12 responses from open micers. All just say blah, blah, blah. Then the last response, if it's honest, you got to do it. Voss. No I way. I said that. Oh, I said, uh, no. No uh, way. Why are you bothering to First, answer these? A lot of, yeah, I, can I just say I, something? You're filling out questionnaires. A lot of people will, will write in as rich. So no. it's not really he, rich. He didn't no. answer all these. That, that is was me. obviously <laughs> rich. I'm like, no. Trying she's trying to, to protect them. And boss is going, no, it was me. No. First of all, if it's honest, you've got to say it. Not like those mothers that don't live with their kids. Why don't you put that in? Okay, first Did you of all, type that with a battery on your shoulder, okay. Robert Conrad? <laughs> first, of all, first of all, people ask for advice, and I try to help out some of them. Why are you not helping them? Yeah, I yeah, help them. I said, if you're honest on stage, who gives a fuck who's in the audience? You don't I have never... to be honest on stage. You have to be funny. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Hey. Whatever. Uh, right. what, what? This program to bring you. The Ozone Midget Sighting. What Midget Sighting? Who saw this coming? Brian in Washington, what's up? Hey, what's going on, O and A? Hey. Over the weekend, Saturday, I had a midget sighting in front of a liquor store. All right. He asked me that I, um, if if I if he could make me laugh, would I buy him a beer? This fucking Aww. midget takes and while standing bends down and puts his fucking head on the fucking ground. So his feet were <laughs> flat on the ground, and so is the top of his head. He bends over. That is correct. Did you buy him the beer? Or fuck him. Got him a beer. <laughs> got him a bag of chips. I asked him, um, can he, if I buy him the chips, will he do it again? I want to get a picture with it, um, of him doing it. So I get my cousin. He stole a camera. With his cell phone. <laughs> he fucking does the thing, but my cousin yells a bad midget and kicks the midget in his ass while he's doing it. Oh, that's exactly what your cousin should have done. <laughs> That's exactly what he should have done. Did your cousin's ankle bracelet get caught in his pants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir, the picture didn't come out. It just showed you, the gun, and the elevator buttons. <laughs> <laughs> now, the fucking midget hopped up so fucking fast, and he's chasing my cousin around, <laughs> just yelling at him. <laughs> What a great midget story. That is the saddest story. Involved the midget heard. getting hurt, degraded. Exactly. And all little trying little to get a free beer and a bag of chips. Yeah, and he's hungry. hungry. <laughs> Just so he can forget about his miserable life. Short. Was this on the wire? What happened? Where did this take place? <laughs> it had to this be is in Washington, D.C. Oh, ah, D.C. Yeah. D.C. D.C. Oh, all right. Thanks, Brian. I have got... Oh, that was a funny... Meanwhile, oh, back at the show... Yeah, so, boss, you were saying... No, I was just saying you got to be honest. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but but you, see, you you're saying it like uh, as you're you're con uh, it's a conversation. The way you put it, he was trying to be profound with some like one line. Like, wow, thing. and he, he even leaves his it. name Voss V O S. Yeah, didn't say Rich Voss. What was okay, it? But that's because he was can't it? type very well. It was just what like was yeah, it was him just giving the final you know like what well, was it again? Uh, it was him saying. Well, if it's honest, you yeah. gotta say it, no if matter what. If it's honest, I've, you gotta. So, in say other it. words, if you're performing, you know, in front of a bunch of like, you know, Holocaust victims, if you have a funny joke <laughs> about gas and right. showers, you have to say it, no matter what. <laughs> Rich would, though. <laughs> That's the truth. First of all, the two days you were on MySpace, you are there more than two days, and when you, first of all, you, I'm not. My guy burns it. I've been on there two days. Who's your guy? I don't know. Some kid that runs my MySpace. Uh-oh. Is he 14? Is he in front yeah. of Congress Sound recently? like a police uh, <laughs> officer. <laughs> the He's never 14-year-old boys. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. 
head of one of the guys uh, from uh, Homeland Security. Yeah, got, got uh, oh, yeah. arrested. Another guy who thinks oh. he's talking to a 14-year-old uh, girl online yep. sets up a little meeting. Oops, it's a cop. You never hear one story of a guy actually hooking up with a 14-year-old. Well, right. Why don't you have a fucking cop posing as a pedophile, and when the kid shows up, the cop slaps him for being a fucking tattletale? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, you're fatter than your picture. <laughs> Here's the news story. Well, authorities say 55-year-old Brian Doyle sent pornographic movie clips over the Internet to whom he thought was a 14-year-old girl. They also say he went so far as to reveal his name and that he worked for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Smart. Just before police arrested Brian Doyle at his Maryland home, they say the Homeland Security Deputy Press Secretary was chatting online with someone he thought was a 14-year-old girl. This was as perverse and as sickening as a case as we've seen. Authorities say Doyle was actually conversing with a Polk County, Florida Sheriff's deputy posing as a teenager. He graphically explained to a 14-year-old girl what he would like to do to her and what he would like her to do to him. But he didn't. It was... Plus, she was 14. Yeah. Let's not act like it was a little girl. 14, you know. 14's the new, uh, yeah, the new 18. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Colin. Well, the guy acts like, oh, it's always horrifying. No, if it's a little kid, it's horrifying. Well, so is 14. What the fuck is that? I, I, when I was 15, I went out with a 14-year-old girl. Yeah, but you weren't 55. He's a 55-year-old. He is now. I just show you that heart. <laughs> she was the best piece of ass I've ever had. And I had him all over the world. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had. And I've had him all over the world. And a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. Look ridiculous. Oh, How fast did they get that one up? That's insane. How could they do <laughs> that? Anthony just pushes buttons. He knows where everything yeah. is. Yeah, we are just... He sure everything. does push so. buttons. Uh -huh. He was banging cocktail waitresses two at a time. I just happened out over have the uh, Godfathers up there. Alex Rocco just died, didn't he? Won't see uh, did he no die? More. Won't see him no more. Yeah, I think he died. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> but I'm trying to have her be breaking his balls. He's getting fucking fresh. Hey, will you relax? I didn't mean to offend you. You got I the guineas really make me laugh. <laughs> the video, by the way, getting back to that story, was great with the you know the box coming out of the the home. Oh yeah, you never want to be the guy. Uh, he's cuffed. The cop is bringing him out, and in front of him is another cop holding Hold a big box <laughs> full of filth. Oh. You know, it's just a box of filth. And that guy knows what's in that box. He yeah. wait till they get to tape three. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they're not viewing him yeah. at the house. They're just going, I'll grab this tape, this yeah. tape. And he's like, ah, that one's nothing. That one's a copy uh, of this. That's been my vacation. Oh, that's a copy oh, of the incredible. Oh, right. oh, that one's the bad oh, one. They yeah, grabbed yeah, it. But, oh, he know, boy. but he knows what kind of porn he's got. He's got the 14-year-olds. He's like, oh, God, I did download the two-year-old. Oh. Oh, Why? I well, just how wanted do we to know watch it. <laughs> how do we know these girls on on PayPal are at 12? Uh, First of well, all, it's not PayPal, you fucking illiterate. It's pal, it's talk. pal talk. You know what I mean? And uh, all I have to say to that is dare to dream, <laughs> my friend. How do you know they're because, 18? Uh, what, are they holding their license? <laughs> yeah, what you do is you say SpongeBob, and if they jump up and clap, you fucking <laughs> close the window. <laughs> <laughs> No, they have to. They have to click off. I'll on tell something. you, that girl is being held captive. Look in the right hand corner. Yeah, yeah, there is Something's something up. very evil and. Miss, sexy what do you want that. us to do? What's your address? <laughs> <laughs> sending the cops. <laughs> there is something very sexy about it's, that, right? They, Which yeah, one are you talking about? Uh, in the right hand uh, corner. Red Rum Low 06. Right. Red She's the one that's she's wearing been the short. Shaking and crying for an hour, <laughs> and I see shadows of like two guys behind her. <laughs> Silhouettes of guns. Yes. And... <laughs> oh, look at those bosoms. Hey, we got more on the Homeland Security guy. The 55-year-old is charged with using a computer to seduce a child and transmission of harmful material to a minor. What shocked us was he didn't hesitate upon the first conversation to identify himself as a deputy press secretary for Homeland Security. The Polk County Sheriff said Doyle had multiple internet and telephone yeah. conversations <laughs> with the undercover detective. He provided his office and government yeah. issued cell phone numbers and this identifying photograph. He emailed photographs of himself oh. with his Bonner. DHS security tag clearly visible. Oh. Doyle's arrest came just hours after That's a real victim of internet yes, child pornography testified on Capitol Hill about the need for the government to act quickly life. to protect children from online sexual predators. <laughs> 
Doyle is expected to be placed on administrative leave. A federal sure. investigation yep. is also underway, and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has promised its full cooperation. He is currently in an area jail waiting to be extradited to Florida. Wait a minute. The guy Thanks. is... Uh Deputy Press Secretary. Totally lost my thought. No, it was something else. I completely lost my thought. Wow. Completely. You know, I, listen, I, I, I'm I so glad these people are getting locked up or whatever, but isn't that entrapment? Though? Yeah, I don't know how they get away with it. He said, he goes, he was carrying on a conversation yeah. that was disgusting with uh, a 14, you know, asking a 14-year-old girl things uh, he'd like to do. And the fact is, he wasn't. He was. He was asking a cop I, I that was of age. You know, he's asking a guy or a girl cop. It's a tough cause like for us to get behind. Yeah, but yeah I'm not really going to rally support for this one, folks. But yeah. it, that it's is the reality. censorship. It might be because if yeah. you want to talk. What if this <laughs> fantasy is just making believe he's talking to a 14-year-old? Is that a crime? That he gets caught yes. in the net like the occasional fucking dolphin does. <laughs> right. We all love our tuna. But and this guy is Homeland Security. He can't figure out that he's not talking to a 14-year-old. How is he protecting the country? Yeah, you know he doesn't saying? care. Maybe he... Um, it's very possible that the legality is if they contact you. The pedophile will usually... Like perverted justice always contacts the kid. Yeah, but it's not a kid. No, no, no. But it, it's like buying drugs, but it's really powder because there's a cop selling it to you. If your intent is, it's like uh, buying guns. So you want to buy fucking guns, and they and they have plastic guns they bring, and you purchase them thinking they're real guns. You're still gonna be charged with that. I want to fuck a gun. What? Yeah. Well, you've never you've never been on the receiving end of a rifle and a good story. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a good scolding. <laughs> Could you guys get gun uh, pistol permits for yourselves? We carry permits. Oh yeah. Can you get me one? I want to yeah. buy a new Springfield. There's this new gun. You know this this comedian. You guys know Adam Leslie. Yeah. yeah. Rich does him. Mm -hmm. He was a crackhead. He stole my gun in L.A. But I want to get a new gun. He stole you want a sorry. pistol or a, a rifle? A pistol. Yeah, pistol. New in new, you live in New York City. Millimeter. Yeah. Hard. Very hard. I'll just write myself a death threat and I'll say someone send it to me. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to yeah, outside New York City. It's a lot easier. It still I, takes you six months. I went to get a gun permit, right? And when I was eighteen, I was busted for pot, just like a couple ounces, right? You didn't write it down. Yeah, because I thought it was Idiot. expunged from my. No, uh, they say even if anything's expunged, you have to write down every ticket. I had to write down this. Get 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 this. I had a suspended license when I was twenty two years old. Yeah. And I was driving my Model T down the road, <laughs> and it, it uh, I, I rear-ended somebody. Cops came, found out my license was suspended, took me down to the precinct uh, to He's give me a to desk Malibu. appearance. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to fucking Penrods. <laughs> <laughs> not even, not even arrested, just to give me a desk, you know, appearance ticket type thing. Check me out. I had to write that down. Okay, you so have to write down whatever happened to you legally. Every ticket you got, <clears throat> the disposition of every ticket, write it down or else they go, oh, didn't write it down. Fuck you. You get well, no gun. Okay, so this was 15 years ago that I, I, I was rejected. They said, you didn't write that down. Can yeah. I still go back in yeah, and, you can and reapply yeah. and mm -hmm. say... I don't yeah. like when I bring up an idea which shouldn't even be brought up on the radio. It was selfish and stupid of me. Then he's jumping on my bandwagon trying yeah. to get you to give him advice on buying a gun. Well, because he knows he's he out of it and quit smoking. One I was going to get. I was yeah. going to get a. a Why did you a go laser to alcohol, thing? tobacco, and firearms? A laser thing. I was going to get, get a, a laser thing. Your yeah, fingers first. couldn't reach the trigger. What good's a gun? He's going to get it to help him quit smoking. <laughs> you're going to get a lightsaber. What are you getting? A laser <laughs> thing that you're. No, he said he was getting a a taser. Oh, a taser. The taser for he wants to oh, that's right. He wants to taser his own audience. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did you or did you not say that? Yeah, you know, it's illegal. They come at you. You never know. You know, it's illegal. <laughs> Why did you do some of those wheel kicks we've seen you do? <laughs> yeah. Fucking greatest moment of my life. I was seeing a British girl years ago, and we're out in front of this Chinese place, and fucking boss is there talking about how he took karate. <laughs> and dumb show off goes to do like a fucking a straight out kick and he slips and he falls in garbage juice. <laughs> he fucking it was by a big pile of garbage bags and he fucking he slipped and fell right on his stupid back in garbage juice. <laughs> it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Take him, ladies. <laughs> Oh, is that you, perfect? You remember that? It was just yeah, do I remember that? How can I not oh, remember wow. it? How did you uh, come back from that? What did you say uh, when you got up? Anything? We, just, uh, we were just laughing. I like the way yeah, I like to the, just laugh. I like the way uh, I, Norton tells the story. I was seeing a British girl like it was Notting Hill yeah. instead of some triple labia <laughs> fucking she prostitute. Just had a miscarriage. Yeah. 
I was seeing this British gal. And, uh, well, if you've ever seen Hugh Grant and yeah, uh, James Good point. Good point. Good point. We're out for a night at the theatre, are we? It was more just for a I reference of time. Take her dining right near garbage juice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't even be near garbage juice with a British girl. He was just pointing out his career. <laughs> Why stop the whole <laughs> <laughs> oh Does Lady Di and Marion still call in? Oh, uh, every they so often. They can't afford the satellite, so miss, yeah. we don't hear from them often. I that miss that Dennis Di Young haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Come Sarah away. All right, we can go back to the uh, the funniest mom thing. We're almost done. Please. This is Pam, fat redneck. I'm Kim Harrison. I am the mother of one. Oh, I live in Columbia, South Kim? Carolina, and I live in a trailer. I know you're stunned. Oh, yeah. It's a double wide. <laughs> it have to be. My dream. Badass. My dream is to be on Broadway. They need a bigger size for bigger girls like me. Something like one size fits all, y'all. We have a seven-year-old daughter. She's the most beautiful child on the face of the earth. Big blue eyes, just like her daddy's uh, best friend. And... Uh, Oh, she fucked her, um, uh, yeah. Because yeah. it sounds like the daddy, mystery. but she trails her. Right. She should have said brother, because then the redneck. <laughs> right. uh-huh. 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 Well, she should have uh-huh. showed a picture of daddy's best friend, and it was his dog. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's punch the funniest mom. <laughs> <laughs> Big black Rottweiler cock straightened her right out. <laughs> Sassy mom in her double wide with a fucking fat dog dick buried in her. <laughs> Big fucking pink lipstick right in that fucking fat white box. Keep going. Keep going. I ran out of things to say. I'm getting an erection. Oh, my God. That was really yeah, oh, was horrible. <laughs> We've got to bring up uh, that the streak of the, the hot teacher banging the student is over. Oh, over, Johnny. It's That's over. Cool. Yeah. You, you've been following the hot teacher banging yeah, the cool. student. There's before. that one. No, that there was a whole, was a whole just, slew of them. Yeah, but she was the, the one another. was the hottest yes. ever. She winds up getting off with no prison time no, at all. As well she should. They it's let her go, really man. Ugly. She was so <laughs> hot, and uh, they let her go. That because legally, people wanted to be, oh, you know, looks matter and everything. So of at course. At least was being honest. The law was She's completely being away. honest. And, uh... The, well, the newest one was out. Where is it on? I is guess, it on um, let Smoking Gun? Let me check uh, Smoking Gun. Go to SmokingGun.com, but I believe it was on Drudge. And we got the original latest one. We the wonderful show. Drudge. We got to show the picture. She was, yeah. She, was Hot. she should be on Girls Gone Wild Island. <laughs> <laughs> is that her? Teacher charged for giving student a wedgie. Get out That's of here. New. That's great. Oh, that just happened yesterday, right? Did it? Uh, well, I saw a thing that said uh, a bizarre form of punishment. A teacher gets in trouble oh. for a bizarre. Oh, they didn't it. tell you it was the tease. No, it was some yeah, it was some male teacher did it to like a girl in a g-string. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you need a wedgie, miss. Yeah. Or it's even hotter if he fucking yanked each end of her diaper. The Uber wedgie. <laughs> Not that she was young. She was just retarded. <laughs> Incontinent. Fifteen <laughs> year old retarded girl. Fat with a big head. Like Look our at own this Katie producer. Curran. <laughs> that who uh, She's leaving. She's leaving. Uh, Memories of Katie. She's going for the money. We, we don't have the pick. Ah, who's this? No. no ah, Look at the teacher. Mark Holly, 41. Ah. Uh, charged with giving a 10 year old a wedgie. Ah. He's a killer. <laughs> What a nightmare. That guy is a prick. Oh, no. The 41-year-old is charged with endangering the welfare of a child. Oh. Must have been some wedgie. They the mother kill him. of the boy told investigators she reported the alleged incident to school administrators immediately, immediately after it kill happened. Him. What did she say when she called Colonel Kurtz gave me a wedgie? <laughs> <laughs> that guy is evil. That is a scary-looking guy. It needs him. to be gotten off the street. you gotta find the, you got to find the teacher because uh, <laughs> they're claiming that she gave 27 blowjobs. In a week? No, what? it was it was actually well, what's the numbers she again? had she had sex with a thirteen year old right twenty seven times in one week and one blowjob. Oh one okay. twenty seven there she is. The streak is over. The streak is over, gentlemen. The streak is over. The hot streak oh, has God. ended. Oh. Is that big Jay Okerson? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that slept with a thirteen year old. Twenty seven yeah. times in a week she had intercourse and <laughs> gave him one blowjob. Yeah, now that's what I call her, world's right? funny as mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just gonna give her the prize. At least she's got a, she's a good dresser at least. That's nice. It's like yeah. one of uh, E. Ross shirts. Shirt. Twenty seven times oh. in one week. 
That's nice, though. She look, yeah. That's a goer. At, Thir- at 13, you fucking see anything. You get a rod. She looks yeah. like Jimmy Page. No, that's psychologically <laughs> damaging. Jimmy, that one. Fat Jimmy Page. <laughs> she yeah, looks like Eddie though. Trunk. Oh, God. <laughs> she looks like Eddie Trunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was disgusting. <laughs> uh, uh, survey. She sucked his cock to a Queen's Rice song. <laughs> <laughs> you sucked his cock. I sucked his cock to Queen's Rice. It's to Queen's Rice. More cock is Urban yours. teens losing their virginity uh, very early. A new survey <laughs> shows four out of ten kids said they had intercourse before 14. And have engaged in oral sex Jesus Christ, and even second anal grade? sex by 17. Yo, sweetheart. Yo, why don't you, you know, chill with us? Isn't that amazing? Inner city. A lot inner of inner city. city. 42% engaged in vaginal intercourse at the age of 14. How did my joke get nothing? We didn't I was it. reading a study. Oh, well, no, you, said, you said when they were 14, I went, wow, by second grade? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. That was a good one. You know, had to bring that back. He brought it back. Yeah, That's very funny. I would funny. repeat that one if I didn't Yeah, when comments. you can pull the alarm and still get it, it's funny. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, we got two more clips. America's Funniest Mom, season two. This is Angie. I got some confessions to make uh-huh. and some secrets to tell. Hi, I'm Angie Montgomery. Oh, I know what you expect me to say. I'm big and sexy. I'm here to tell you I'm just big. I think when a woman has kids, the laughs just begin. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, why I yeah. got to stay on my son. He wants to be a thug. But I told him, mm-mm, you can't be no thug and have asthma. <laughs> That's, That's not funny. funny. That's Actually, right. asthma. That was kind of funny, though. <laughs> that was asthma. funny. <laughs> the only time it's funny when your kid is born, when the comedy begins, is if they say, look, he has a syndrome. <laughs> 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 then the jokes can fly. The laughter can start. <laughs> you mean that tongue's always going to hang out? Jesus. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. Congratulations. It's a dope. <laughs> when... <laughs> some... <laughs> And you know why it's even funny when Norton says it? Because he was so close genetically to being one of them. Oh, no, I'm a very yeah. smart guy. No, but I'm saying no, you're like, just one thing off. Like, you look visually. Something happened at the last minute, you're saying? <laughs> yes, because Everything you lined up him, perfectly at the last, <laughs> last <laughs> second. When yeah, he got you know, Jim, you time. might actually have that thing where you have an it's extra like, chromosome. It's like when you Hooper. Can be, you can be Down syndrome and still be <laughs> mentally He does uh, look like a efficient. Down syndrome. He looks, oh, he looks more like fetal alcohol. Remember when Hooper was tying the knot on the barrel right before it went off the boat? <laughs> like, that's what happened to you at the last minute. No, Jim doesn't have fetal alcohol syndrome after his mother saw him. Then she started drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're all having fun at my expense. Oh, yeah. You were just making fun we of love retarded you. people. So <laughs> not you. No, I wasn't. I was making fun of retarded babies. <laughs> <laughs> They're far more humorous because Will you, please find you out have the girl's to photograph them. She's a the victim starts. of something horrible. I'm an easy target. <laughs> go on, hurt go, me. Go on, hurt me. That's who that teacher looked like, Del Griffith. <laughs> <laughs> How many <easy> target? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> the kid I fucked up for a shower curtain ring. Times. <laughs> Be quiet. Voice is doing his homework. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing on that fucking cell phone? What are you G-E-D? writing? <laughs> Bonnie gives him a little assignment every day. <laughs> Don't use those smart words. <laughs> He's trying. He has to look up every word like Malcolm X did in prison. <laughs> He's still on Aardvark. Ah. <laughs> 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 Here's the last clip, thank God. America's Funniest Mom. I want to see the Arab circle. I'm Karen Morgan. I'm the mother of three. My husband, I have to explain, is from Boston. Oh, boy. And I'm from Georgia, so our children are bilingual. Funny already. We were in the grocery store not too long ago, y'all, and this man passed gas on the snack aisle, and my son says, Mama, that man just fought it next to the tater chips. <laughs> my set was great, and the audience was wonderful. Had a good time. I have three little kids. At my house, you just go to your closet in the, in the morning and put on the very first thing that strikes your fancy, like maybe a bathing suit with a Christmas sweater, tiara, and some fairy wings. And then you just go out. And that's my boys. Uh-huh. Uh, kids are faggots. Yeah. yeah. That's funny, too. But, uh, the potato chips, that's always a killer. No, uh-huh. You can just see her walking out, trying to be funny, wearing like her powered by caffeine t-shirt on stage. <laughs> Uh, we're done with that dumb program. God, sounds like a fat house, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah they're all big, big fat. Oh, they got the one Puerto Rican, Lisa Alvarado. Yeah, yeah she's good looking. You ever see her? Let's go to Travis. Oh, Travis. Good looking. I can't for believe you guys are getting paid for this. For, you know, Why? I know. We're single. 
You guys are just laughing, having a blast. Stop picking on Jimmy. I'm punching out. Thank you, sir. I appreciate Pick that. We can all Jimmy. have a good time, but not at each other's expense. That's oh, my point. Oh, God. <laughs> I used to hate that about Tough Crowd. This sh idiot shithead would be on cracking on me, the host, making fun of how awful I am. Then I'd make one joke and all his dumb fans on his, oh, that kind of quitty. Hey, hey, you know, yeah, you're James right. Wrong. Just What's notice that, you? you morons. That's the way it is. And I know what you wanted to ask me, and I'll explain it to you. What? 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 April 7th. Tickets go on sale for my Boston date with David Tell, May the 12th at the Orpheum, mm -hmm. and May the, April the 8th. My tickets go on sale for my Borgata date with David Tell May 13th. That was Borgata. really confusing. Mm. May 13th. It's on your website, Borgata. though, I bet. I'll I might have my to MySpace. go to that one. MySpace? Borgata. Borgata. At the you guys should I use like me. Gambling. I'm selling out 150 seats sometimes in Houston. Oh, yeah? Oh, Houston? yeah. Did you do 150 <laughs> in Houston? Yeah, I'm not kidding around. You did better than that. Yeah, Houston's a, a tough, pl tough place to bring people in. At that uh, laugh oh, stop. Where, oh where were we at? The laugh oh, place? Oh, boy. The laugh oh, place? Oh, boy. He I just didn't know. No, no I'm telling you. <laughs> used to the we were there right after the Put your headphones on correctly. No, my ear. The sister's killing me behind my ear. Oh, no. Ear. The stinky sis. No, this is a new one on this side. What? You got a you new keep one. Keep smoking. Yeah. It's healthy. Smoking out of your ear. <laughs> I'll tell you, you got to quit smoking. You really I am going to. I'm going to set I'm going to give you my... We're going to exchange numbers and maybe we'll have some chats. I'm going to set a date. It's going to coincide with the one on your tombstone. You have a tumor farm behind your ear. Oh, are farming tumors. He's got a point. <laughs> Fucking, they're like pods. Sometimes a little visual image like that can help you quit. Yeah. That's right, a tumor yeah. farm. Yeah. <laughs> I think right. of a tumor farm, farm, farm on your neck. Horrible. All right. I don't think we have anything else, do we? We haven't since 9.30. <laughs> since Colin showed up. Oh, boy. We actually were pretty intelligent there for a while. No. What were you guys talking about? The actually, fact that you and 7.57? I'm just messing with you. I'm really yeah, not. 7.57 turbine blade. Was, blades. I, look, you guys can laugh all you want. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. I prefer more yet. than ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. You said all I want. That's right. Ha, 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 ha. Well, you want to keep... <laughs> I'm happy young black. I'm happy young black. Let me let me correct that. You can laugh till it annoys me. Right. Hey, let's say hi to Doug out Doug real fast. Doug, what's up, buddy? Hey, guys, I just want to plug the new Pest Radio show on Howard 101 from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. <laughs> have you guys have you been getting a lot of calls through on a stupid Pharrell? It is fucking horrendous how we're smashing him nonstop. <laughs> uh, we've got a new contract. We're going to be on there every night for the next two years. Yeah, the Pest got signed to Sirius. Hey, dude, is he dumping Who? out like a fucking faggot? Who uh, is he's Pharrell? Out. Who is he's Pharrell? Exactly. He is, he is fucking a horrendous. Friend of the show until he uh, turned... Yeah, a lot of people have like turned everyone on us. does. A lot of people have turned on except us lately, you, Colin. Colin. Yeah, Thank exactly. you. Except for you. Thank God, Opie invited me on the show. Hey, you want to you that once in a while? Hey, stop by. Except hey, why don't you stop by? Come in whenever you want. You, Shut you up. You have no power to say it. You, I had the power to say it. You don't have the authority. And, you and Eric can exchange fucking hairdos. You don't have the authority. I thought that would get a good laugh, but I forced it. God damn it. <laughs> Go on, just let. Why can't you just let me slide? Ah, uh, nah. Come on, her own time's sake, Tom. <laughs> can't you force a laugh? Her own time's sake. <laughs> Sorry, Jim, can't do it. All right, Doug. What else? Hey, he's, yeah, he's trying not to take as many calls. His whole first hour the other night, he played about fourteen songs and did that fucking singing. <laughs> he did that for an hour straight the other night, just so he wouldn't take any calls. No there one could be enjoying that piece of shit radio hey, show. Only he's ten seconds out. left. Uh, where are you going to be? Cleveland Improv this week. Banana uh, Poughkeepsie's. Voss and Bonnie at uh, Cleveland, Cleveland Improv, Improv but more than Banana Poughkeepsie's. Yeah. But Voss in Cleveland, but the not Amara. at Bananas with me. Colin Quinn, <laughs> nowhere.